The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Mr. Renegade is back, and this time he's brought the option of having two players simultaneously kicking the crap out of people at the same time. What was that? Oh, alright. No, no two players simultaneously on the Commodore 64 then. Right. That sucks, doesn't it? Ah well. Mr. Big is back in town. And this time he's captured your brother. He's being held at Big's pig pen, which is located on the upper side of town. Only this is the description of the game that I understood, at least. But I clearly remember the last level, and very much doubt that your brother suddenly decided to wear blonde wigs and dress as a woman. But whatever he does is his own business, and I'm certainly not one to judge. The problem is, every gang in the city is out looking for you. It is now up to you to beat the odds and rescue your brother. You start the game armed only with your fists, and along the way there are some additional weapons to be found, such as baseball bats or garbage cans. Gameplay is an arcade-style side-scrolling action game for one player. Unbelievable. Even the specy version has two players, and apparently it was awesome. Listen to the awesome sound. that. Oh, hi Mark. Jokes aside, it was actually a pretty decent game on the old specky and was voted number 13 in your Sinclair Reader's top 100 games of all time. The cover of the game and the title screen portrays a topless street fighter performing a flying kick through a window. In keeping with video game box art and advertising of the era, the character shown in this illustration bears little relation to any character in the game itself. The actual picture is based on martial arts legend Joe Lewis from the cover of his book How to Master Bruce Lee's Fighting System, but has been adjusted so as to fit in with the character of Renegade. The game is a sequel to Renegade and was followed by Renegade 3, the final chapter. When acquiring the license to convert the original arcade game Renegade to home computers, Ocean acquired the option to produce and release their own home computer only sequels to the game, and Target Renegade was the first of these sequels. All in all, Target Renegade is very similar to the original Renegade, but with better graphics and trickier gameplay. A tough and addictive game, but one that won't take you too long to complete. Still gutted about the lack of two players though. So, what did you think of this game? Let me know in the comments, and please don't forget to hit the like button. As always, thanks for watching. Maybe even hit the subscribe button if you want more Commodore nostalgia, but there's plenty more videos just like this one on the horizon. In fact, there's one coming up right now. See you there. Bye for now.